Hey, um, so here's the deal. If your line is tech tips and you're looking for a way to clean your keyboard, you're probably just gonna chuck it in the washing machine and if it dies, it's not really that huge of an issue, but if you are like me and have one keyboard and are just looking for a way to easily clean it without possibly destroying it, uh, this is the guide for you, as well as for cleaning your mouse and your mouse pad. We'll start with a non-RGB cloth mouse pad. It's the simplest one and by far the less risky because it's just cloth. First, what you'll need is a container that is large enough that you can put your mouse pad inside laying flat. Then fill said container with warm water and a little bit of hand soap. Dunk the mouse pad in and just let it soak for 10 to 15 minutes. In that time, all the dirtiness is gonna come loose from the mouse pad and it'll make the next step quite easier. On the next step, just get any sponge you have around the house, just something that's not very harsh and just scrub the mouse pad a decent amount just so that anything that's still attached to the mouse pad will eventually come off. After you're done with that, just Take the mouse pad off the container, rinse it with cold water, just a bunch, so that all the soap is removed and nothing is left there. After that, you're gonna want to dry the mouse pad. There are two main ways to do it. Either just get a towel, put the mouse pad on top of it and leave it close to a window around the house where the sun is heading and just forget about it for a couple of hours. That usually takes a couple of hours. The second way is just pat it dry as best as you can with a towel and then just go get the hair dryer and just spray it from a distance. Try not to get too close because that can permanently damage the mouse pad. But you know, just hold the hair dryer as close as if you were blow drying your own hair. If you are an individual with a higher intellectual coefficient, you probably have an RGB mouse pad for its definite improved to performance. In that case, you can't really just get the mouse pad and soak it like we did with the normal cloth one. So what you'll need to do to wash it is get two smaller bowls and a sponge, fill both of them with warm water and in one of them just put a tiny amount of hand soap. Try not to put so much because you have to remember that we're gonna have to remove everything and if you put a lot of soap it can get quite messy. Then simply get the sponge in the warm water with the soap and start scrubbing away around the mouse pad just with two major concerns. Be mindful of where the power box is on your mouse pad. That's where most of the electronics are. You probably don't want to go very close to it, but it usually is not on the dirtiest corner of the mouse pad, at least not on mine, so you'd probably be good to go. Also, be mindful that close to the edges, there's probably some stitching holding the RGB strip. Just be careful if you scrub too hard with a sponge close to it. Some stitches can come loose, which can in turn reduce your gaming performance. So um, be mindful of that. After everything is scrubbed clean, leave the mouse pad alone for five to 10 minutes. That will make sure that any residual residues will come loose and then they're gonna be much easier to remove. To remove the soap, and the extra residues that are probably still in the mouse pad, it is crucial that you get a clean sponge, dunk that sponge on the warm water container without any soap, and then start scrubbing away the entire mouse pad. Be mindful of the stitches and the electrical box again, but just scrub in every place that you scrubbed before. It is really important that you remove all the soap because if you don't, the mouse pad will look pretty much the same as if you haven't cleaned it at all. I know from experience. Once all the soap is removed, we are once again in the drying process. You have two options for this. Either get the mouse pad and go put it in a window and forget about it. Or if you're doing this like an absolute professional, you probably have all the cables managed under the desk. So you don't really want to remove the mouse pad from the desk. So you want to dry it with the blow dryer with the wire still managed under your desk, nice and beautiful. Then pretty much just hold the hair dryer at a safe distance and you're good to go. The keyboard on the other hand is a slightly more tedious task. First step is pretty simple. Simple, just remove every single keycap from the entire keyboard, get a bowl with warm water and a little bit of soap, just a tiny amount. When I say warm water, it's, it's just warm water to your touch, just 
don't use hot water. Some keycaps are made of the softer plastic and then can deform the keys. If it feels warm to you, it's good to go. Just don't use blazing hot water, expecting it to make a better job of cleaning it. It's not worth it. Dunk all the keycaps in the bowl and, and pretty much just forget about them for the next 10 to 15 minutes whilst the water pretty much just does its job and makes your life easier. In the meantime, get some toilet paper or a microfiber cloth and some alcohol and some cotton swabs. Then pretty much just use a tiny amount of alcohol on the toilet paper or on the microfiber cloth and just clean around the key caps on the entire keyboard and then once that's done get the cotton swab with a tiny amount of alcohol and clean in between the keys where most of the hard places to reach are. Once you're done with all of that because that will take a good long while the keycaps are probably gonna be nice and soaked so you're gonna rinse them in cold water once the keycaps are nice and rinsed of all the soap you're gonna want to drop them in a towel and pat them dry as best as you can and with another towel individually scrub the surface of every single key to remove any excess residues that stayed behind and make sure that no water or soap is on the bottom side of the keycaps. It's quite easy for water to get trapped under there and once you mount it again on the key switch that can make some damage long term so pretty much just pat them dry as best as you can. You can hit your hand quite quick and all the water will be out and pretty much just do that for every single one of the keys. Once every single key is clean and dry you start the process of proving to yourself that you are the god of computers by trying to assemble the keyboard entirely by memory. At any point when doubt inevitably creeps in, just, just make sure to check off camera for a picture of your keyboard just so that you can finish the job and, and be sure to never admit to anyone, not even yourself, that you had to cheat. By this point, with a clean mouse pad and a clean keyboard, if you want the cherry on top, get a cotton swab with some alcohol and clean your mouse as well and quickly go back to destroying some kids in Apex Legends Season 4. Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. If you want to see more of my face and technology, subscribe down below. Uh, check some of my previous videos, they've been doing pretty good. Thanks for everyone that left a comment. It's great to know that some of you are still on the other side of the lens and... Uh, yeah, bye!